It is Wednesday 13th of January and we're on day three in our maths workbooks. Just check that you are watching the right video. So this is for our year two workbooks and today we're going to be looking at page three. So we're focusing today on counting and ordering. This page really is focusing more on counting. So number one asks you to count how many shapes are in each set. So we could just count one, two, three, four, but we're in year two. We're better than that. We can count in groups. So let's have a look firstly at number question number question A. So we're going to have a look at the first row to see how many are in each row. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, I know how to count in fives. So I can count in fives to find how many are in total and all together. And then write the answer in that box there. Okay, let's look at B. Now there are many more shapes in this box here. And again, I could go one, two, three, but it's gonna take me a long time and I might get muddled and forget where I'm up to. So let's find out and work out which number I could count in groups to find out how many I've got all together. So I'm gonna start by going down the row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know how to count in sevens in year two, so that's not going to help by counting in sevens. Let's try going along, going across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do, Miss McNulty, know how to count in tens. So I'm going to count in tens along each row, and that should tell me the total of shapes I've got in box B. Okay, so that's all question number two. This is quite similar this time. So it's asking you to how many people need to fill these chairs. So we need to find out how many chairs there are so we know how many people we need to put in all of the chairs. Now again, we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and count them all. But again, we're better than that, we're you? So we can count in twos, fives and tens. So if we go down the row, we could count in twos and we could group them. Two, four, six. Or let's look across. Let's find out, with your grown-up now, just count how many chairs are going along across the row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So with your pencil, I want you to either draw your rows of ten to count how many you've got all together, or your rows of two. And then write your total here on the line. Now, when we get to question three, it gets a little bit trickier and it asks us to fill in the missing numbers in the patterns below. So, we know we're not counting in ones because the rest of the page we've been counting in groups of twos, fives and tens. So, let's have a look at question A. So, it starts with two and then there is a missing number. Okay, then we've got a six and a missing number. And another missing number, and then 12. You might have already noticed what this pattern is counting in. Now, I know it's not counting in ones, because I'd have two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's not counting in ones. Let's have a look. Two, six, two, oh, it's counting in twos. So with your grown up, I want you to fill in the missing numbers counting in twos going along the pattern. So we've got one, two. Work out with your grown at what comes next. Three, four, five, six. And then with your grown up, work out what two numbers will go in these missing boxes here. Remembering this pattern is counting in twos. Okay, and then if we go to question B, this time it's a little bit trickier. It starts. At number nine. Now, Mrs Wood will tell you that this pattern here is counting in threes. So with your grown-up, I want you to count along three more to find out the numbers that are missing in the boxes. Okay, let's have a look at question C now. So, we're starting at 10, 15, space, 25, space, space. Now, look carefully at what those numbers are ending in. And look at this number here. These are all multiples of what? So just pause for a minute. With your grown-up, 
I want you to have a look at this last pattern here. Now it's not counting in ones, it's not counting in twos, it's not counting in threes. So I want you to try and work out with your grown up what you are counting in this pattern here. Okay, and then fill in the missing spaces. Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow.